Don't forget there's more live action tomorrow night in what should be a cracking fight out there in Copenhagen when former world super middleweight champion Mikel Kessler fights America's Alan Green. That's 9.30 on Box Nation tomorrow night. Julius Francis and myself talking about it and, and watching the fight. Kessler is a bit of a warrior. You can see, if you go to one of his fights in Denmark, it's like being at a Ricky Hatton fight. They're all there drinking beer beforehand. The, no the noise is raucous. And this week, Alan Green's made a lot of noise, like he usually does, threatening all sorts of stuff, what he's going to do to Kessler. Kessler stepped up to light heavyweight. He wants to put out, send out a warning to all the world's best light heavyweights, like Chad Dawson, Schumanoff, Nathan Cleverly, those sort of guys. So you're looking at, do you think Green or Kessler, who are you going with? I think I'll go with um, the Viking, Mikhail Kessler. He's a, he's a good, good fighter. I know he's his first fight at the division, and Alan has been there. Well, he fought most of his early career at, um, at, at light heavyweight. I just think that Kessler is... If he's still got something left, he'll have too much for Green. But it's going to be a good fight tomorrow night. Thank you, Sarah. Apparently, uh, on the grapevine I've just heard, Andre Bertol has been tested for a banned substance. Oh, he was fighting Victor Ortiz, or he's due to fight Victor Ortiz on June 23rd, I think it was. Well, I can't see that fight happening now. What is it? A, is it a VADA test, do we know? Or? Well, yeah, it's a VADA test. And, well, we're living with the Amir Khan, Khan situation as well. Well, that's, it's just interesting that... You're wondering, these VADA tests have started and they seem to be catching these fighters out in training. Now, is, is it an American problem they've got over there where these guys are going in to start in training camp and they're pumping themselves the, the, up? The world's gone mad, aren't they? Right. The world's gone mad. Sorry, Steve, we're going to have to stop you.